Isn't that just the most magical way to start a video? I think so. Anyway, hey everyone. Welcome to Epcot. Today, we have a lot to do. So, we're gonna go run around, do some stuff, have some fun. I've got a long list of things that I would like to accomplish. Look at these pretty flowers. They're falling all around me today. We're here really early. We're here for rope drop. We were here actually like 45 minutes before the park opens today, yes, but I wanted to get a good parking spot. So, I don't mind waiting. And that's what we're doing. Hopefully today won't be as hot as some of the past weeks. It's been a scorcher here in Florida, but it's backed off a little bit. I don't think we have a heat advisory for today, so that's good. Anyway, we're gonna start our day off with Cosmic Rewind, as per usual. I mean, what else would we be doing? And then we're gonna see what else we can get ourselves into. So come along with me. I think it'll be fun. Of course it'll be fun. What am I saying? It's gonna be fun. Let's go. In a surprising turn of events, Guardians of the Galaxy is not open yet. Delayed open this morning. So, making our way to our next thing. Not gonna lie, would have really been nice to know that before putting my eggs in the basket of going over here. But it's fine. It's not a big deal. This is why we have to be flexible. And don't get me wrong, as I've said before, flexibility is not everyone's strong suit. But, take a breath. You know, you're on vacation. If it doesn't go 100%, According to plan, it's going to be okay. Relax. Anyway, the question is, what are we going to do next? I do have some things I want to do over in the France Pavilion. Maybe we make our way there and see how things go. We're going to keep our eye on these boards, though. Can't really see it, but these boards will tell us not only the wait times for everything, but also when Guardians starts boarding. So keep an eye on that we make our way through the park today. We've arrived in a very quiet Canada, but before we keep moving, I do want to show you the work that's being done. My face is dripping, sorry about that. But you know, summer in Florida. I want to show you the work being done in World Showcase Lagoon, because we do have a new fireworks show that's on the way. I don't know exactly when we can expect that, but this is how the progress looks so far. Lots of big poles, and then you can see that big tallest thing is like a crane or a drill or something. So lots of work being done out there. Once again, still nothing compared to the harmonious barges. I'm sure we still have a long way to go, but anything shy of those barges is a thumbs up in my book. Tell me your thoughts though in the comments. Love to know what you have to say. I know I probably say that a lot, but I, I really, I really would love to know what you have to say. I'm very interested in your perspective and your thoughts on all these things. So, soak up the shade for a second, wipe my face off. Oh, look at all the ducks. It's like a whole parade of ducks. Look at them heading out there to get their day started. How cute is that? There are even some still on shore. Keep up the good work, Disney ducks. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I have a new addition to my Disney park must-haves. So you guys know I carry around a like, little face cloth to dab my face when I'm dripping like I am today. But I recently got one of these binky things. You know, they're for like little babies. You put one end around a binky and you snap one end to their clothes. Their binkies and go flying all over the place. I got a set so that I can put my face towel on it and then just let it go. Dry off and we'll be good to go have a good day at Disney, a dry day at Disney. It's good stuff, I don't know. Maybe add it to your kit. I think it's pretty good. All right, just wrapped up wandering around the France Pavilion. That'll be coming to a future video. Make sure you stay tuned for that. We're not doing that today though. We're having fun today. Having a hard time having fun today. I just checked my phone <laughs> as I was sitting here and uh, it looks like Guardians of the Galaxy is still not boarding. Now I checked the app and it said my estimated callback time as group 17 is going to be 11.09 a.m. It's currently not even 10. So I don't know if that's going to work out, but that's all right. We're still having a great day and uh, I say we just make our way all the way around World Showcase because we're already here. So let's get going. So I'm actually going to cut off in here. So we can sit in the shade for a second before we get into the Japan Pavilion because I want to talk to you a little bit. 
about something. Now, as some of you may know, there's a new restaurant that has just opened here in the Japan Pavilion. Currently, it's open for walk-up only, but reservations are available. And I did make a reservation for, I think, early September, although they are available for late August. So this is supposed to be an izakaya style restaurant, which is kind of like a pub. You go, you drink beer, you eat snacks, <laughs> um, and also sushi. At least for this restaurant, it's also sushi. I have been very excited about this. Russ has been very excited about this, and so as soon as I could make a reservation, I did. But I have to be honest with you about something. I was perusing the menu, and I have very mixed feelings about this dining establishment. Now, this isn't because I lived in Japan and like don't think it's gonna be authentic or anything like that, I'm sure it will be, but the prices, the prices. Now, it shows up in the app as two dollar signs, which is like middle of the road, but when I saw the portions, because some people did get in and they've been posting their videos and pictures, um, when I saw the portion sizes and looked at the menu and saw the pricing, I was a little taken aback. This restaurant is priced a little bit high for my liking, especially with everything that they're offering, the portion sizes that they're offering. Now, while I want to reserve judgment until I try it, because that's the right thing to do, my initial impression has me really wondering whether or not we actually want to go eat here. When it was announced, Russ was like, this could be our date night because we love izakayas, we love izakaya food. And so it's a place that we could have seen ourselves coming like once a week or once a month or whatever. After seeing the pricing and what is available for food and all of that, I don't know, I don't know. Now, of course, our plan is to go there, eat there, and tell you about it, but um, I just don't know. I don't know what to expect, and I don't know that this will be a meal that is under $100 for two people, which for me, I feel like that's when it starts to get expensive, is when it's over $100 for two people, like before tip, before alcohol, stuff like that. So, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Stay tuned for that. Let me know your thoughts though. If you've seen any videos, my face is really starting to drip now. My hair is showing how wet I am. <laughs> um, but if you've seen any videos, you've seen any pictures, tell me your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know what you have to say. You know, there's always a part in your Disney day where things come unraveled. It's like the sun comes out, the sweat starts dripping, and that cute hairdo you had disappears. Well, I'm at that moment. I'm at that moment right now. Bear with me. Hopefully it's okay. I, I think it's okay. All right, onward. I'd also like to make note of the fact that I have been a responsible adult and put sunscreen on my face and um, it's dripping into my eyes. So if I go blind because I was trying to prevent myself from getting some sun-related ailment, I don't know, I'll probably make a joke out of it and move on with my day. Anyway, here we are in Japan. Just a quick pass through though because I don't think anything's open this early. You know, this is another place I always want to stop. I love kakigori. But what do they have? All right, we do have the sweet milk. California, we can get sushi here? I had no idea. Where's the, where's the red beans? What's the point if it doesn't have red beads and mochi? Hmm. Now, you know, as we're making our way around World Showcase, I feel like this is the perfect time to talk about how World Showcase does not really open until 11. Now, in the past, they used to have a sign kind of blocking you from coming into World Showcase until 11 o'clock, but that was before there were major attractions here. Now, with Ratatouille, with Frozen, they open World Showcase when they open the park so you can wander around, but don't be fooled. You can't really enjoy World Showcase until after 11 o'clock. Some shops will be open, some kiosks will be open, maybe you can get some food like at the France Pavilion, but you can't count on enjoying World Showcase, drinking around the world, any of that stuff, first thing in the morning, not gonna happen. Which is why it looks like this right now here in World Showcase. Of course, Joffrey's is open. You can get your coffee, 
stuff like that, but it's definitely not crowded because the festival's not kicked off yet. Nothing is open yet. So don't let this fool you either into thinking that Disney is empty. It's not, it's just early. Also, in regards to the low crowds, because I know this is a conversation that like comes up and goes away, it comes up and goes away on social media and in like the Disney community, I guess. It's currently low season here at Walt Disney World. So it's the hottest time of the year, school's starting back up. So this is when we normally see crowds kind of dwindle anyway. They're not gone by any stretch of the imagination, but they're less than they would be during peak season because it's currently not peak season. That's also one of the reasons that you see a lot of deals run in the summertime, especially now after travel kind of changed and the whole world redefined how they do vacation and do things in general following everything that happened in 2020. As things kind of slip back into some version of normal, we're seeing that, you know, with the summer, less people are traveling. I think a lot of them probably blew their budget in the first few years because they saved for a couple years and then they were like, let's go, that revenge travel thing. And uh, now we're seeing that slow down. Very predictable, very much something that a lot of us who are paying attention expected. So, I, just my two cents on that. I know we've talked about it before, but I wanted to mention it again. You know, this is about right. Anyway, we've soaked up enough shade. Let's keep walking. I feel like this is like a crazy area where there's very little shade. There's very little to do indoors. So you grab it while you can. I got some, but now we need to make the push back to future world or world discovery. World Celebration, out of World Showcase. We've done it, made it out of World Showcase. It's hot, let's go shopping, cool off for a little bit. I don't know how much there is to show you in here, but I'll show you what I think is interesting, if I see anything interesting. This Toy Story Summer Splash collection is still here. It's still 30% off, plus discounts. I think this is cute. I definitely am not into this color, but check it out. I didn't realize that the back, it's kind of like a peekaboo back. That's interesting. How much is this? $49.99, but 30% off plus your 20% off for DVC and annual pass. Let's see what else they have. This shirt is really cute. $60 for that before discounts. I really like this bag, but I there is no reason for me to get that bag. I want it though. And then we have the spirit jersey. That's super cute too, but I keep telling you about spirit jerseys. I already have some and I struggle to wear them because it's always so hot, so don't really need another one. Halloween is here, of course. And we have Grogu in a pumpkin pram. How much is this? $26.99 for that one. Of course, there are other really cute plushies as well. These are just the Star Wars ones. I have my eye on a different plush, but I haven't seen it in a while. Maybe it'll be here. Lots of food and wine merch around. I do want to take a closer look at this. We're going to be coming back here to enjoy some of the delicious treats at Food & Wine. We'll take a closer look then. Speaking of Halloween stuff, it looks like there's a whole collection of Hocus Pocus stuff, which by the way, this, love it. $34.99 for that. What do we have here? It's a water bottle. It is, oh my goodness, that is so cute. $34.99 for that. This isn't a corksicle or anything, it's just, I guess a Disney water bottle. Big, kind of soft. I feel like it's cute, but it would be very annoying to use, you know? Looks like we have a spirit jersey over here as well. I love the color. Don't really care for the animation on it, or the illustration. $79.99 for that, if I didn't say it already. Oh, I saw these online. These are $39.99. Okay, look at how frightening these are. Okay, so normal. Normal. Oh 
my god. Why are you so scary? It's a set of three, by the way. But why is she so scary? I mean, I get who her character is, but yikes. Taking another look here at the Halloween stuff, check out this stitch. So cute. I have been looking for my Halloween shirt and I have still been unable to find it. This is the shirt that I got for Russ and I want a shirt that matches it, kind of. Like it doesn't have to super match it, but I'd like it to kind of match it. And um, the best I can do that matches that at all is this this little girl shirt. But um, in case you haven't noticed, uh, this is not my size. So I'm keeping an eye out to see what I can find. And I haven't been able to find anything yet. I do like this because it's blue and it's it's cute, but of course I'm drawn to this because this is more my aesthetic, generally speaking. But I want a tie-dye. I want a tie-dye. No tie-dyes, as you can see. I'm wondering if they'll release something a little bit later, like closer to Halloween. My fingers are crossed. This is a new mug that I've been noticing. I don't know if I showed you this already, but I think it's pretty cool. How much is this? $19.99. I don't know if it was released for Halloween. I feel like I saw it before that, but either way, I think it's pretty neat. All right, it's time for us to head out. No Cosmic Rewind today. It still hasn't come up yet. It still hasn't started boarding, so we're actually gonna make our way out because we're already hot. The time keeps getting pushed back farther and farther. So with that, including all of the individual lightning lane selections that are being purchased and whatnot. I don't know when I'll be able to get on and it'll probably be a really long line when I can, so we're just gonna call it to make our way to the exit and head to the Jeep. All right, I even pulled out the hat for this walk. I'm almost at the Jeep now, but there's no shade on this path. And we are right there by Guardians. I can hear the screams. So part of me believes that maybe they started calling groups. I don't know but I'm secure with the decision I made to take off. It's hot, very hot. And I did more than I was expecting to do today. I hope you had fun. You know, it wasn't like a huge thing today. We just kind of wandered around a bit. Hope you had fun doing that with me. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And tell us in the comment what your favorite part was. Until then, I'm gonna get this Jeep started. Sorry about that, didn't mean to hit you. I'm gonna get the AC on and I'm gonna head home. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.